Hello, and welcome to a vloggy type deal. Yo Dave, what's an almost professional seeming setup? Well, thanks for asking. It's a webcam on a cupboard board that that guitar came in. On top of a pillow, on top of a chair, leaned against an aluminum ladder and my microphone is set on with the ceiling lamp slapped below. I would say it looks quite good. Better than my other stuff. I think this is the first time I am actually in the range of focus of this stupid webcam. I'm usually way too far away. Cut the bullshit. What's the video about? Video is about a concert that I went to last Friday. It's now Wednesday. I, I think it's Wednesday. And I can almost move my shoulders normally again. Last Friday I went to a one day kind of festival seeing seven bands at the Hellraiser. It was called something superstars folk metal over here in the case for my glasses i got my ticket let's have a look what that says folk metal superstars extended show ooh extended show not just folk metal superstars but no extended show i saw copy clowny they were the headliner there was arcona idafolk rollfest and the other three bands are not on here. It was The Privateers, Black Messiah, and Fuck I Don't Remember. We were a bit late, so we actually might have missed the first band. I don't remember it anyway, so whatever. In case you just clicked on the video to know whether or not it was good, it was good. If you're here to want to hear about my journey, here's how it begins. On Friday morning, after a solid four and a half hours of sleep, my girlfriend and me went by train to her parents' house. After some food, we went on to the trusty trusty autobahn and went all the way to Leipzig. We joined a bunch of other people and then went straight to the Hellraiser. The Hellraiser in Leipzig is a venue where I've been quite a few times already. I have seen Evil Invaders there, I've seen Skullfist, I've seen Dustbolt, I've seen Lori, uh, Glory Hammer, and a bunch more. And it's always fun, but it can get kind of crowded. And this show was completely sold out. But not only that, the show began at like 4 p.m. and went all the way to after midnight. As I said earlier, we were a little late and I think we missed a band. The first band we saw were the Privateers. I had heard of the Privateers beforehand, but I wasn't really convinced that I want to see them. I always thought of them of a more budget version of. Ailstorm, which I really like by the way, Ailstorm is fucking awesome. But I gotta be honest, live was quite a lot of fun. I got convinced. And I'm not one of those person that really takes his phone to a concert. I leave it in a car or something maybe, but um, I'm usually in the pit and there's no room for a phone in the pit. Stuff breaks in the pit. Which I once again got reminded of, well, we'll get to that later. Since I was asked... Fuck. Since I was asked to make a vlog out of this whole thing, uh, I took my camera with me. Very old cam. This thing has seen some shit. There was a time where I had this thing always on me, always in my pocket. And you can tell just by looking at it. It also often doesn't open correctly, so to start it, you have to kind of help pull it out. So it actually starts and then you can tap your shit. There must be some dirt on the lenses because it always gives black spots. Also the quality isn't that up to standard anymore, it's it's gotten a bit old. And the audio quality is shit too. But hey, I didn't take it with me to tape the whole show, just to give you some impression. If you want to check these bands out, I highly encourage you to do that somewhere else where you can actually hear them. I'm just giving you a, a general impression of them. Blah blah blah, me and my camera. Here's some footage from the first band, The Privateers. <laughs> I did seem to have a lot of fun and I was especially impressed by the singer. If I understood it correctly, the singer is not the actual normal singer of the band, but he just helped out for a few shows. He was really good. It was a lot of fun. Next up was Black Messiah. I've seen a video of Black Messiah before. A song called Wilzo. Hilarious, but extremely cringy and not that good. So when I realized it was them that were going to play, I was like, yeah, yeah, well, okay, maybe they're good live. And yes, they are very good live. Now, while their music videos are of questionable qualities, their live performance was not. 
very impressed. Two things really stuck with me from this band. One thing that stuck around was the guitar player turning around, looking at the drummer, smiling and nodding his head in appreciation of metal. And the other thing is the, the singer slash guitar player slash violin player. I've never seen anybody looking that fucking brutal while playing the violin. That was amazing. Next band. Next up, and probably my favorite act, is Trollfest. Trollfest was one of the bands that I didn't know anything before actually seeing them live. And boy was that a surprise. Now I gotta be honest, I'm not too big into folk metal, although I can definitely appreciate it. But I went there with the feeling, yeah, this is, this is going to be alright, instead of, oh my fucking god, this will be amazing. And then Trollfest started playing and I was like, oh my fucking god, this is amazing, where the fuck is the pit? And then I went to the pit. Their style is like a weird mix of cover songs, metal, and of this weird beat that they play in every song, but it's absolutely amazing. Combine that with pretty stupid costumes and an amazing stage show, and you got Trollfest. I think I went pretty nuts in the pit there, but it's all kind of a blur. I'm also getting the order of the bands completely wrong and trying to edit it so it actually works, but... If I get a chance to see Trollfest again, I'm gonna take it. At some point I needed something to drink, so I got something to drink when we went outside while drinking some energy. And when we came in, Heidefolk had already started. There was no way of getting near to the stage anymore. The thing was so loud and Heidefolk got pretty big. When I looked at a few bands that were going to play beforehand, I thought Heidelfog will be the ones that I probably enjoy the most. They seemed a little bit more metal than the other bands, but that doesn't hold up live. Not that I didn't enjoy them, they just were not as energetic as the rest. Especially the singing. It's cool how they harmonize one another, but, but compared to the other bands, Heidelfog was more standing with confidence than jumping around like a maniac. <laughs> Next up is a band called Arcona, from Russia. When I was talking to people beforehand that I was going to that concert and that Arcona is going to play, almost everybody said, yeah, they're not that good. I personally didn't know anything of them and I also didn't check them out before going to the concert, but I was blown away. And that is mainly due to the performance of the singer. But she is lacking in body height next to that giant of guitar player. She makes up with performance and determination. Oh fuck. <laughs> She 
She went proper exorcism. Very cool. Very convincing. And then, here they came. Tropiklani, an alcohol-fueled folk metal party pressed into a band. I actually knew a few songs of Tropiklani before going there. Songs like Vodka, or Tequila, or Beer Beer. They were really good, I had a lot of fun in the pit, and I went overboard. Like with other bands, I went overboard. Surprisingly, I did enjoy every band live, some bands more than others, but, but I wouldn't start a fight if somebody tries to take me to a, a gig of any of those bands. Now while I was incredibly impressed by the onstage performance of Arcona, was completely taken off guard by the style of Trollfest, and Copiclani being as good as expected, this was one of the very very few concerts where I didn't actually buy a CD of any band thinking, yeah, I'll probably won't listen to any folk metal at home. In hindsight, I'm probably gonna get something, at least from Copy Klani, maybe something from other bands too. I am very happy I went. Let's talk a bit about my health at the concert and the health of my glasses at the concert. Let's start with the glasses, since that's the funny part. I had to buy this pair of glasses after I lost my last pair. While saying these, Iron Maiden, live in Frankfurt. Now when I am at a concert and I want to see something, I need my glasses. If I want to go into the pit, I shouldn't have my glasses. What to do? Well, I tend to have the case for my glasses around, and I put that into a pocket. A pocket that is hopefully secure. In best case scenario, you put the case in a side pocket on your pants, like a little higher than the knee. All my pants with a pocket like that are broken. So I had this case just in a pocket sitting right there. And I lost it with glasses inside, and I could not find it, so I had to get a new pair of glasses after seeing Iron Maiden. The fun part is, the thing is the glasses that I lost there were the glasses I got, because I forgot I had my other pair of glasses on when I went into a pit at a bigger festival, and they got stomped. Now guess what happened this time? You see the dirt? You see the deformation? See how... That is not how things are supposed to be. <laughs> you see, do you see the deformation of this the thing in the middle? It's kind of wonky, and one of the glasses, uh, this one goes further down. Also, that part was about like that. Um, I tried to bend it in a way that I can still use these, but they took a hit. I lost them in the pit again, together with all the other stuff I had in the case, and somebody stepped on it probably. But this time, I actually got them back. My girlfriend found them. Very happy about that. Didn't want to lose another pair of glasses again at a concert. But not just my glasses got a fair share of the pit. I did so too. If you're wondering where the overload part and the name they've overload comes from, from this kind of behavior. And while I do like sport, I am currently more of a lazy gamer that sits at his desk all day. My diet is not very healthy, and I have asthma. I probably emptied like a quarter of my emergency asthma spray thing. So here's the thing. When you do sport or any kind of physical activity, you can get to a point where you notice, okay, this is the boundary for me. If I go any further, I'm just gonna hurt myself, I'm just gonna hurt my body, and I should stop here. Now, I often get to that point and then think, well, the pit is still going, music is still going, I'll run around a little bit more. And so I did, and I didn't stop. Until I got so exhausted that I couldn't really stand upright anymore. Every t time I was kneeling down and standing back up, I couldn't see anything, I just saw black, and then a bit of stars, and then I had kind of guess if I'm still standing. <laughs> I lost feeling in my hands, I lost feelings in my feet, and part of my face. 
And also I kind of had to focus on my breathing. It was almost like I didn't automatically breathe anymore. I had to do that manually. That's why I couldn't stick around in the pit all the time with Copy Clowny. I tried really hard to just walk straight, but I couldn't. I had trouble just sitting down and not falling over while doing it. But Dave, that's just alcohol. No, it's not. I don't drink alcohol. I also don't do drugs. I never have and I don't plan on. So three days after the concert, my lungs were still kind of burning and I still had to cough from it. I also had trouble talking after the concert, like I usually have. I don't know where the part of your brain is uh, that is used for speaking, but I think it's the part that hits the wall the hardest. <laughs> that is definitely something I've noticed. Every time after I headbang too much, I have problems forming sentences. But hey, after the concert we went to Burger King. While I was hungry, I had to fight to actually eat something, I had to fight to actually get something down. I had a shower, a good night of sleep, and then the next day it was coming back home. Yay concerts! Yay making videos on this channel! Now that I have successfully cleared out this area again and shoved all the chaos, all the madness into that area, I can make videos here again. I will go and try to do the thing that I said I'm gonna try to do last time I said I'm gonna do the thing. You all know how YouTube works. Thanks for watching. See you around, sucker.